it's Lynn with Little Fit Nursery. Um, so today I actually wanted to hop on and actually talk about a kind of serious topic, um, or at least a very serious topic. For those of you guys who are on Dolphin, you probably know what I'm referring to. Um, there's a very long thread, I guess there were several threads that were consolidated into one. Um, and basically, I guess there was a collector who had an issue with um, her Summer by Andrea Arcello. Uh, Summer is a silicone baby, um, one of Andrea's older sculpts, um, sculpted, um, I don't know how many years ago, maybe, I wanna say it's been, definitely been like five plus years ago, um, or something like that, I may be wrong on that. So my apologies if I don't have all the facts straight. Um, but yeah, the past few days, you know, I've been kind of just reading through that thread and, oh man, it is so hard. Um, I, you know, I wanted to talk about the situation in particular and then also chat a little bit about just, you know, what should we do when we have, you know, issues with a doll, um, in general, like talk about that a little bit as well. So and while I'm going to do that, while, while I chat about this topic, and I realize this is a very hot topic, and I feel a little nervous even making this video, but I, I do think that, you know, all of us in the doll community, um, you know, it's the great thing about, you know, living in America, um, and hopefully living in a lot of other places in the world, is freedom of speech and the ability to express our opinions, express our thoughts. And I, I recognize that, you know, because I am a fan of Andrea's dolls that, you know, there are people who, you know, have been hurt, um, by dolls that, you know, she's made in the past that, you know, broke or had issues or didn't last. And, you know, for that reason, won't buy from her again, which I completely respect. You know, it's, it's totally up to each individual person to, you know, sort of make their own decision on that matter. Um, and, you know, but I do think that there is, you know, I think there's, uh, there's a difference between sort of expressing your opinion, you know, in a professional manner and kind of sharing about and kind of like sometimes it's not always just what you say, but also how you say it. Um, and I do think that some of the tones and words used in the threads back and forth and then Michelle Fagan got involved because I guess apparently with Summer, Andrea had um, contracted the pouring um, to uh, to Michelle Fagan. Um, for that edition and that um, she paid Michelle some money to pour each doll and then um, I guess some a lot of these dolls had issues of splitting and you know head coming off and things like that um, and so it is it is so hard um, such a difficult situation um, I do think that you know some of the you know, kind of the tone of the thread really got out of hand. Um, and it made me really, really sad reading it, honestly, guys. Um, I feel very, very sympathetic um, to the people who had these issues. And I just want to say that because I think, you know, for the people who um, had these issues, you know, it's almost like, and I think there's probably some element of it where it is a little bit cathartic to come onto a forum, a public forum, and just vent. Like, they just want to vent, which I which I get. I, I totally get that. Or, you know, if they're on YouTube, maybe they want to make a YouTube video and vent. <laughs> you know, just like, you know, sometimes when, you know, there's some drama in the community, we want to get on YouTube and some of us want to vent or whatever. Um, but, like, you know, it's, but it's very, very hard to, um, you know, be a fan of Andrea's dolls right now when, you know, there's kind of all this going on. And I can only speak from my personal experience. Yes, it makes me very sad um, and upset for the collectors for whom this happened to. But um, I did, you know, and I actually did write um, Andrea out of concern about the thread and you know I definitely think it would be great if she you know would personally go on to the thread and comment herself um, for whatever reason she's chosen not to do that um, so that's totally her choice too you know to like how she wants to to deal with it but um, but I do think that you know so one of the things that she did mention was that um, the lady who had this issue happen with her doll that she purchased you know a, a few years ago um, that basically, um, you know, she did offer her a discount off of a future doll. 
And, um, and so, but the collector is so upset, you know, she's wanting, she wants a cash refund and, you know, things like that. Okay. So a couple thoughts on this, first of all. So let's say you bought, um, you bought a doll and you, do you guys remember the video I posted? Some of you guys are new to my channel and you may not remember this video, but I posted a video like a few, um, uh, it must've been a couple months ago about, um, you know, wouldn't it be fun to kind of have, <laughs> have like, like renting a reborn or would you rent a reborn or rent a silicone baby? I don't think it would like ever work because you know, these dolls are fragile and it's so hard to, um, make sure that they, you know, are kept in like brand new condition and things like that. Um, sorry guys, I'm just playing with Maggie's foot. She, her silicone, she is so, so soft and so squishy. I just like tactilely love to like, she's my favorite baby from just a tactile perspective, just cause she's so squishy and look at that face. She's just so darling. Um, sorry. So I don't mean to digress, but, um, but let's say you buy, you buy a doll and you pay, you know, $2,000 for a silicone doll, let's just say. And, um, let's say you enjoyed that baby, um, for two years or three years and then something happens and there's an issue with the doll. Do you think it's really fair to expect a full refund? Um, I don't personally. Um, you know, and the reason for that is, you know, and it kind of, kind of comes down to, I'm going to get a little bit technical on you guys. It kind of comes down to, uh, this concept of depreciation. So you, you know, if you think of your doll as like an asset and maybe there's some certain useful life, and you know, may, and you know, maybe we and we buy these dolls and we want them to last forever. Like I totally get that, but you know, but in terms of a reasonable, useful life where you know we can expect the artist to provide a warranty for their work, you know, maybe there's a certain period. Um, I know Andrea now offers two, a two-year guarantee. You know, for anyone who purchases her babies, um, if anything happens, she will fix it free of charge. And I and I like to think that if there's a baby I've owned longer than that two-year period and Isla, Aria, I've owned them for, you know, I think two and a half years now, roughly, um, that, you know, that, you know, she would still be willing to fix the doll for me. Um, but you know, maybe I might need to pay a fee or something like that. And I think that's reasonable. Like if, if something does happen, um, and you can think about, let's say, okay, so let's say the useful life of a doll is six years. I'm just going to use that as more of a round number. And let's say you've had the doll for three years and it has an issue and, um, you know, you're expecting like a full refund of your money. Um, well, I would, I would argue that, you know, maybe you'd be entitled to some kind of partial credit and, um, given that these artists, you know, they're small business owners, you guys, like they don't have necessarily like millions of dollars sitting in the bank. They're not a corporation. I think that offering a discount for, you know, whatever that value is, or, you know, agree, you know, that, that feels fair, some, something to that feels fair. And it may not be fully 50%, um, of your dolls, you know, purchase price or something like that, but it might be, maybe it's, maybe it's a thousand dollars off, you know, a future doll or something like that. I think that's really, I think that's fair, you know, because the money that's already been spent on your baby has been, you know, usually the artist has spent that money to pay their bills. And so it's kind of, in my opinion, unfair to expect them to just give you a refund. But, um, but you know, that's just my opinion. Um, I also think that, um, you know, just, you know, I think just in terms of the communication, um, and all of that, of course you should go directly to the artist first. And if they don't respond to you right away and, and try to be a little bit realistic on your response time. Um, and I've, you know, and even when I was waiting for Emery May, um, to be made and guys, it was a three year process. I know that sounds crazy, but it was three years from the time that I reached out to Andrea to commission the portrait. And uh, three years later, she um, was put, you know, she was completed. And I knew Andrea was busy. She had tons of projects going on. Um, but I'm a patient, I'm a patient collector and I think I'm a patient customer. So, you know, I, I would just sort of check in periodically if I didn't hear back right away, you know, I would send, you know, another email, maybe, um, you know, maybe a week later or a few days later or something like that, just to follow up in case it got buried in the inbox. 
I, I don't know how many emails she she gets or how many emails some of the artists get, but some um, some of them get bombarded. And you know, for me, I'm I'm just honestly a tiny YouTube channel. I'm a beginning artist, and um, even at one point, I had like you know a number of emails going on in my little foot nursery email address, and I, I was having tr some trouble keeping up or like trying to respond um, in a timely manner, you know, things like that. Or on Facebook, you know, you get so many inquiries. And so we're just bombarded by like social media. Anyway, that's like a whole separate topic. Um, but yeah, but I do think that the these issues should, you know, in, in whenever you can resolve it, go to the artist directly. And even if like, I know some of the ladies were saying like, hey, I reached out at the time that this issue happened and she didn't do anything for me you know, why, why not reach out to her today and just, you know, explain the situation in a polite way, just to say, look, you know, we, I had this issue with my doll. I reached out at, on such and such date. I didn't hear back from you. I was really disappointed and heartbroken because, you know, this doll that I love so much had an issue. Um, and, you know, is there, um, you know, I, I heard that you have been offering collectors a discount off of a future baby. Is that something you'd be willing to offer to me? Um, you know, that sort of thing. And even if, and I, and I think if you ask nicely too, you know, it, you're more likely to get a good result than if you come at somebody just attacking them, because then they're going to want to attack right back. And so it, I think it's just human nature. Um, so I think there's a little bit, of, it's, there's a little bit of an art in terms of that communication process. It's a very t difficult situation to be in. And, you know, I, um, one of my good Dolly friends, you know, she had an issue with her Emery May. Um, and like, you know, she, she mentioned it to me when we were chatting at the doll show and how, um, and, and she made the decision not to send, I think Andrea did offer to fix it for her and, but she made the decision not to send it back to Andrea, which is totally her choice as well, which is totally fine. And, and, you know, because of that issue, you know, she's, you know, she's hesitant to buy from Andrea, which I, which I look, I, I, I get it. I understand. And, um, but you know, I think we can all just, we, you know, we have to go off of our own experiences and, and yeah, I, you know, I, I love her work. I love her sculpting. She's definitely like my favorite sculptor in terms, if you like, look at the little faces, if you guys look at Ma Maisie and Connolly, Emery May, um, and Melina, like these are just such beautiful babies and they're beautifully, beautifully done. And the portrait baby she's making for me of me as a baby, like turned out beautiful. Like I'm just stunned by like how talented she is sometimes. Um, and, but, but I am, you know, but I also want to acknowledge, you know, she may not have handled things the best way that she could have, you know, in some of these situations. And, you know, look, we're all human. And I also think that, you know, the silicone, silicone doll making is, it, it constantly evolving art. So there are constantly new techniques. This um, silicone is Andrea's own, um, I don't know if it's her own blend or formula. This is the premium Maggie. Um, and she is, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm gonna change her. I actually forgot to tell you guys uh, while I chat, and it's so hard to chat about like a hot topic that requires my concentration and also change the baby. But at some point here, I really wanna change her. I have all these really cute outfits um, that I got from Children's Place and I haven't changed her. This is a low, this is made by, the brand is Losan. It's made in Spain. This is a zero to one month size, which I think should fit Maggie. Um, it's a little bit like a zero to three months um, or larger newborn size. So, but yeah, I think, you know, Maggie can kind of go either way. She's kind of that really wonderful size. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like undress her. And I'm not going to stress about doing this quickly because I really can't do it quickly when it comes to silicone. And I'm not going to worry about YouTube flagging me because apparently that isn't even really the issue because people have had <laughs> Target shopping videos flagged, including my own shop shopping video from Target. So um, anyway, so I'm just going to do this super slowly and um, while I just continue to chat. So, but yeah, it's, it's really hard. Like I, you know, what I would hope in this community is that, you know, for those of us and, you know, I, and I know that, you know, some of you, um, some of the collectors, including some of you guys who have channels, um, I, I feel so sad for you for any issues that you, you've experienced with your dolls. I truly, truly do. Um, you know, but I hope you also respect, you know, my decision to also continue to buy babies from Andrea. Um, because that's my choice and, and I'm, I'm doing that, you know, knowing 
you know, whatever risk I'm doing that with both eyes open and, you know, and, and even, even now after kind of hearing all the facts, um, you know, it, it, it is disheartening to kind of see, um, you know, some of the issues that occurred with the babies, but I also feel that, um, you know, we, you know, those of us collectors who, um, do love her babies and continue to collect should not be flamed <laughs> for, for doing so. And, and us continuing to collect Andrea's babies doesn't mean that we um, don't sympathize or empathize with the collectors who have had some issues. And so I, I just wanted to come on here and say that because I truly don't want this to be, you know, I, and I really don't want this situation to be a rift for any friendships. And there are a lot of Dolly friendships here in the community um, with ladies that I respect highly and respect greatly and... Um, and I, you know, I, I just, you know, I, I just want all of us to be able to enjoy our dolls that we have. And so, um, but guys, Maggie is so precious. She's perfect. You know, I have had no issues with her. She's just a gorgeous baby. And you know what? She's so cute. Like she has armatures, <laughs> which is really, it's, it's fun, but you know, I, I don't think armatures are like probably my favorite. So this new baby I'm getting um, the baby and lie, or, you know, I, I call her baby Lynn cause she is me as a baby. Um, I'm not going to get her with, um, with, uh, armatures. Oh, I should probably mention. So I, so for that baby, my baby is going to be poured in the premium silicone that Maggie is poured in. Um, that was something I specifically wanted. And I know that the silicone addition she, um, is doing is going to be the regular EFCOFLEX 20, but, um, it sounds like she's offering two options. One is more the regular version, you know, probably similar to babies she's done in the past. And then the other, um, the other is kind of a more enhanced version. So she, I think, I believe she said she was going to hollow out, you know, the cheeks so that they're squishier and then also hollow out a little bit in the tummy so you can have a squishy tummy effect. And so I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I feel like Maggie's already pretty squishy, so maybe it wouldn't make sense for the premium silicone. I, I just want to trust her kind of judgment on that. Um, but I, but I did inquire about that. I was like, Oh, am I going to get the squishy tummy too? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh goodness. Okay. So this is one of those outfits. that's a little hard to dress. Um, so I always roll up the sleeves. And I really should take um, the advice to, hmm, this is hard, <laughs> the advice of like um, using mitts or something like that, but I'm going to just do this really carefully. Um, and so, yeah, so I guess for all of us, you know, you have to make your own decision as a collector, you know, but know that Andrea's new dolls, they do, ever since she started doing the pouring herself, um, you know, she does offer a two-year warranty, you know, with her, with her babies now, which I think is great. So I personally, um, am still supportive of her and, you know, I, I still am, am a customer and will continue to be, um, and until, you know, she gives me reason for me to not be a customer. Um, yeah, but it's, it's so hard. And, and I don't think any of us can blame these, blame the collectors who have had issues either, because some of them you know, shared their babies were literally just displayed and nothing happened. So, you know what, guys, this is, this is going to be a tough outfit to put on her. I can already tell it's, it's, it's velour and there's not a lot of give in the fabric. So I'm actually going to abort this. <laughs> um, and I'm going to find another outfit. I'm going to use this outfit for one of the reborns. Um, sorry about that guys. So let me find another outfit that I'd like to put on her. And, um, let me see if this one will work. Hmm. This one might work. I'm going to try it. Give me a quick second. I'm just going to cut off the tag. Um, sorry, I don't want this to get too long, but I do want Maggie to have some clothes. All right, I'm going to try this. You know, and guys, <laughs> like, honestly, Maggie is so cute, like, without any clothes on. Like, I sometimes I'm just, like, would love to just keep her in a diaper. She's so adorable, just the way she is. But she's just an absolute dream baby. Ever since I saw her, I just fell in love with her. And I'm so, so lucky to have had the opportunity to adopt her. And, um, 
I adopted her from Judy on Dolphin, and I was seeing, reading a post that Judy made that she um, she actually decided to get um, to adopt Maggie back from um, I think Susan who is selling her. Susan um, Anderson is a dealer. She has a website called Children of the Heart, which if you guys are looking for silicone baby and um, she carries some of some of the older sculpts and. I just encourage you guys to do your research for each of the different um, sculpts that are out there and, um, you know, kind of make your own assessment, you know, th that sort of thing. But there, some of the older silicone babies are more affordable. And um, so I'm just going to give Susan a little shout out. She has, she has um, a website called Children of the Heart, um, but she also sometimes on Dolphin in the dealer section, it, so for those of you guys who don't know it, she does advertise um, sometimes. Like she'll, she'll buy a baby from Andrea as a dealer and then sell it, um, you know, as, as a dealer. So that, so she has a Maggie, um, that she has available for sale for those of you guys who might be interested. It's not the premium version. It's the regular version. Oh shoot. I forgot to say, <laughs> forgot my whole point in bringing that up. Judy actually, I believe is buying that Maggie was, is my understanding from what I saw on Facebook, but I could be wrong. So, and she also has Eleanor for sale too. So anyway, um, oh, and I just want to mention this too. I want to give a shout out to my, uh, to my Dolly friend, Nicole, um, who sold me my Maisie, you guys. And, um, one of my, and I was so excited to hear that one of my, um, little foot nursery subscribers or viewers actually, you know, um, heard about Nicole from watching my video on Maisie and she went to, to Dolphin, I think joined Dolphin and ended up adopting, um, Roxy which is awesome. And Nicole actually wrote me to tell me that it was one of, um, one of you guys who wa watches my videos who actually ended up adopting her. So I just think that is awesome. I'm, I'm so, I'm so excited to hear that. Um, <laughs> I am not sure how I like this velour on her, but, um, I'm just gonna just kind of, yeah, some dressing silicones can be kind of stressful. You, you all, <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I, um, so that's what I wanted to say about that, but I, I just didn't want, I mean, I was starting to feel sad because I didn't want, um, all the drama, you know, surrounding Andrea to, you know, d take away from my excitement over my babies. And, and I really think too that, you know, all of us, you know, we're all adults and we're informed, you know, we're all consumers everybody has a right to share their experiences and opinions, but I think there's a way to do it in a way that's, you know, respectful. Um, it, but even, you know, even though, yes, I, I understand emotions can run very high in situations like these, but, um, I don't know. I'm a bit of a peacemaker. I just want everyone to get along. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I hope that, you know, for those who haven't had the best experiences that they don't, that they're not upset at me for continuing to collect Andrea's babies because my experience hasn't been, ha has been great. I've had a great experience with, with her dolls and, oh my gosh, Maggie is just, you know, she's one of those, um, babies. She looks cute in everything. Like, look how snuggly she is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> at first I was like, I'm not sure. Um, cause it felt like it was a little bit bunchy, but oh my goodness. Hi. I love this baby so much, you guys. I can't even, you know, when I hold her, she feels so real. Um, but yeah, I'm like, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> I had to abort that other outfit. Isn't that crazy that you can't tell if an outfit's going to work for your silicone baby until you actually try it? But this one just really didn't have any give in the fabric. It was pretty, pretty firm. So... I'll put it on like Natalie or something like one of my reborns or, oh, 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 you know who would look really cute in that outfit is, is, um, Emily. So I'll put it on Emily. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I, sorry for this video being a little bit all over the place, but I guess just kind of in conclusion, you know, if you have, um, you know, if you have a challenge with the artist, always go to the artist first. Yeah. I think sometimes people just take right to social media or take right to the forums and, 
um, and they don't give the artist a chance to really address the issue. Um, and so, you know, and I even think when you go to a forum, um, there's still kind of a respectful way to air your grievances or share your experiences. Although look, to each their own, I, you know, I can't tell anybody what to do, you know, just the same as nobody can tell myself or other collectors what to do. So, but I do feel like it became just a really uncomfortable situation where, you know, those of us who, you know, kind of stuck up for Andrea or not, not really stuck up for her, but more just kind of shared our own experiences, which were positive that it felt like we were getting attacked. And so I, I actually, you know, did write a post, a long post, you know, kind of towards the end of the thread after kind of reading through a lot more of the comments and just kind of, you know, sharing my thoughts and perspective on this. And, and again, like others may not agree with, you know, kind of my thoughts or whatever, but that's totally, that's totally okay. You know, we can all, you know, I, I hope that even if we agree to disagree that we can still be friends in the community too. So, um, but yeah, but, but the one thing is, look, we all share a love for this hobby and, you know, I think, um, someone posted at one point when it was getting heated, keep calm and play with dolls. And I think, I think Crystal was the one on her channel. She had, she, I think has a t-shirt line <laughs> with this phrase on it, which by the way, Crystal, if you're watching this, I need to try to get that t-shirt sometime. <laughs> um, that is super cute. Um, but yeah, keep calm and play with dolls. I, I love that. I just think that, um, you know, this is, this hobby is supposed to be our happy place. So I don't like coming on here and talking about things that are sort of not pleasant, but, um, but I do hope that you guys felt that, you know, I, I was, yeah, that you guys, uh, appreciated hearing my thoughts on this. And I didn't, I didn't want to be silent, but I felt it was important for me to speak up as somebody who has a channel now and happens to have a lot of Andrea's babies on her channel. I just felt that I should say something, but, um, but yeah, but for me, like, you know, I absolutely just adore her sculpting. I, I, I don't think there's a sculpt of hers that I don't like, which is kind of rare for me with an artist. And so, so she's probably my favorite artist, you know, from a sculpting perspective for that reason. And I just have to say her dolls get better and better. Like this Maggie is just amazing. And I can't even wait to see baby Lynn when she comes home and you know what she's going to be like. And I'm super excited about her size too, being a little bit of a smaller newborn. I think that's going to be so much fun. Um, and just, you know, just the smaller newborns really curl up so nicely in your arms. And so I'm really, really psyched about that. Um, all right. I guess that's it. I guess that's all I have to say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that um, if you're not subscribed already, that you'll subscribe and click the bell for notifications of future videos. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Hope you have an awesome day and enjoy and hug your babies. Take care. Bye.